I believe what the enemy is trying to do is take us away from purpose. At one point of time, you wanted to live for Jesus Christ. Let's say that you were reading the Bible, fasting, praying, doing all types of stuff like that. Then all of a sudden, something traumatic happened to you. Maybe your spouse died. Maybe your parents died. Maybe this or that bad thing happened. And maybe you were so consumed with grief or consumed with hatred, spite, or whatever else to where, like, as it seemed, seems, you may not, you, you may feel like you don't have capacity to even focus on Jesus Christ. What do you call that? I believe, depending on the case, I guess, I believe that can be a trap. You may be so consumed with that traumatic event to where your mind can't really think much about God. Like, you may not be able to really acknowledge him. Your thoughts are mainly on what happened to you. And let me say this, no matter what happens to you in life, we have to keep moving forward. Yes, it may be very difficult to move forward, but what other choice do we really have? I think it is insanity to not live for Jesus Christ. Some people may say living for Jesus Christ is boring, and what world are you living in? Like, how can you think it is boring? It is not boring. What can't you do while living for Jesus Christ? You still can have fun. You still can do some things. Like, is committing sin the only form of entertainment? Is it? I think that is so strange. What is so boring about living for Jesus Christ? Did someone tell you to read the Bible every day? Did someone tell you? Now, it is good to read the Bible. It is good to pray. But if you don't do it every day, I don't believe that is a, like a sin or anything like that. What is so boring with living for Jesus Christ? Now, myself, back in the past, I used to think the same thing. I used to think that living for Jesus Christ is very boring. I used to think that. But as I gained more knowledge of him, and when I started to see things more clearly, not saying that I am 100% perfect, I can see that living for Jesus Christ is in my best interest. My best interest. My life was so much more harder living without Jesus Christ, if you understand what I mean. Bad things are going to happen in our lives. You may lose this, you may lose that, this person may die, that person may die. You may lose your job, you may... I guess I can say you may lose hope, hopefully temporarily, but 
Keep on moving forward. Never stop living for Jesus Christ. No matter what happens. You may have loved someone so greatly and now that person is not in your life. Keep on moving forward. Don't be distracted with what is happening in life. We may lose this and that, but make sure we don't lose Jesus Christ. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. May God bless us.